Hey everyone, Retro Girls UK are back for a brand new video and in this video we've been purging the consoles I can't remember at the top of my head but I feel sorry for the CX workers but we should get a pretty nice well, do you like our new Retro Corner? That's the YouTube light that we've had recently It's not finished yet Yeah But before we get into the video if you're brand new here on our channel and you love physical media and video games much as we do then want to hit that like button Instead of subscribing, but most importantly, don't forget about that notification bell. So if there's anything in the future, I can't keep, can't stop looking in there. <laughs> it looks so nice. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. So, yeah, we decided to get rid of the consoles that we got uh, doubles of, so we could, like, share the consoles. So we got the Brad Boy original Xbox, the Leeds, there's a 360 knocking about in there as well. Bundle of controllers and games. Yeah, a couple of uh, random DVDs, there's a PS3 in that one as well. The Xbox controller, that's a Wii sensor because we've got about five of them. We've got a, uh, a Game Boy original Game Boy as well, which we didn't know that you could get £85 voucher for that. There's also a Switch in that case too. That's it to take it because I don't know if it's re, um, recap, I can't remember, it's been a while. Yeah, so there's all the stuff that we take, it'll probably take all day, but... Missing a Switch dock, which I need to go and get. Yeah, so let's go down to see it, see how long this is going to take and see how much we can get for everything. Hopefully, we won't have to go down to see it for quite a while now after this one. So just a quick update, oh, we're going to take the 360 unfortunately, but we're going to be trying to sell the uh, controller separate. They're currently testing the other consoles at the moment, Michelle's still up to see it's trading in the controller, so I thought I'd take this one back to the car because this one is the heaviest, and trust me it weighs a ton. But question, why is it, with the Xbox especially, why are the bricks are massive, like, look at the size of this thing, it's a beast. But yeah, let's go to see it and see if they take everything. Fingers crossed they should because uh, we've tested everything, if it's working. I know they wouldn't accept one of the controllers on the GameCube one because uh, the back button doesn't work, which, to be honest, we didn't notice, so fair play to that one, actually. But yeah, let's go back to see it and see how much we can get for the rest of the stuff. So, we came out of CX, we got the roughly... Oh, God, we was in there good... I know we had lots of stuff trading, an hour and a half. Um... Not only the workers are quite quick, but there's this one worker, I'm not going to say who. Um, but So we traded the stuff in, and the worker didn't know what a GameCube controller was. So we had a few of them. Um, trade the stuff in, and I said to him, the one worker next to him said, do them individually, so why are you scanning in the others and checking them? They can work on the one. But no, he decided to wait and do them all through. Before he was done, and then he started scanning them again at the end. I was like, what? And then there's like controllers, like stuff that you don't actually have to plug in. And I thought he would have done them separate like they normally do. He's like, oh, no, we can't we can't go back to the store. you got to give it like maybe tomorrow, maybe two days after for the voucher. So we've got to wait now a few days. So they might cause, but uh, I reckon they're going to put it through discounted because there was um, 
They always do some fit of discount to just to try to fuck you over. And also, they just have a sip of pop and see. So in this store, there's, there's two stores that we go to. The one store, I'm not going to say what one, but they've got a few Game Boys to sell themselves. And there's no barcodes on them because I've had a look at one because you can see in it. There's no barcodes. He checked it through and then the main woman, the manager, up, uh, no, said, yeah, we could take this. And then all of a sudden he went and spoke to someone else and it was like, no barcode. No barcode, purpose. we can't take it, but we bought it from there. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's going on? And he was like, we don't sell these Wii controls. I was like, we've got them from there. They've got a CX label on the back. Yeah. He's like, we're going to have to put you through value. And then the manager was like, no, you have to put a price request. I said, um, to see why it's not on there because it should be a proper Wii controller, but that's all. We can't let you know, so we can't really end this video. So we're going to have to wait for a few days' time. The next time you'll see us on the clip, clip is when we find out what we've got. Yeah. We've got a bag of DVDs in the boot as well. So. so obviously, as you know, we're waiting for CX to do their thing. We're still on the same day as we thought. We put, thought we packed the game smart and sell them the, the Game Boy original because we don't use it because we've got the Game Boy Advance, which um, SP in it, which plays all the games. So we picked up a few games. We traded it for thirty-five. Yes, we could have made more marketplace, but couldn't be asked. Also, do you want to tell them what you sold to Entertainment World? A load of VHS, like Resident VHS, the obscure horror ones that we couldn't be asked to sell online. And truthfully, we was only expecting like ten, fifteen pounds for them. It was fifty quid for them. Mm. So I picked up. Made some money today. Sorry, I thought you were my apologies. Mm. We picked up some stuff for the 35 quid trade. So I picked up 40 winks in the PS1. I could have got it cheaper offline, but why not? Uh, so this is one plate. I've been after this quite a while. It's a bit damaged, the box, but I'm not a mint collector by no means. The disc is in. That's a few scratch on, but it should work. I can actually test it this week. If it doesn't work, we can always bring it back. Because of a manual as well. Picked up, as you know, we're going for the Jetix, Cartoon Network, Boomerang, and the Odd Disney TV show. So I picked up <laughs> he, the King of the Beast, Heathcliff. This is a Jetix series, it was a pound sealed. I know you can buy both for CX or quid, but complain. Um, they had Super Mario, what did you say? They couldn't find it. Yeah, they couldn't find the disc, but the man says that he's going to keep it to one side, and if he finds it in the meantime, then he'll message us because he knows that we don't live too far from here. Yeah, so I picked that up for quid. Uh, last but not least, got a Switch game. <laughs> yeah, I did just fine. Uh, so this is obviously Captain Toad uh, Treasure Tracker. This is, I think this is the one from the Wii U. I played on the Wii and I did complete it. I've been after this a while for. Why not trade it in and get another Switch game? Uh, another, um, we have, we will say for you think, oh, didn't she just trade in a Switch? Yeah, but Lisa had one. I had one. Lisa sold her screen, my Joy-Cons. Yeah. yeah. And... We've already got another switch and we've got a switch line in the house still, so this is a really good game to play. One to two players, Lisa will be playing with this playing this game with me. That would come out totally wrong. And now we just gotta wait for CX, haven't we? Yeah, wait for that voucher, see how much we actually did get the stuff that if they don't take anything if they're gonna make up excuses. Like the way the they slam the stuff down in there. You know, the funny thing is, I forgot to say, when they said they couldn't take the 360, I, I gathered so because it's, it's the really old one. So there was being a bit picky, he was shaking it, wasn't jiggling until he started shaking it. But he checked the controller and he gave it me back and said, Oh, we can't take the 360. I thought, That's fine. I traded in the controller separate because I've got a controller home. And he then checked it again and said, I can't take it. And I said to him, I may have forgot to say this. They, them, him, whichever, I don't know what the, the pronouns are. They're not offend anyone. <laughs> so they said, Oh, we can't take it. So, we'll say control, you just said you could have took. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna wait, see if we can pick anything off out now to go and get some Jeez. some pop and etc. You don't really need to see that. So, we'll see you whenever, what, tomorrow, two days' time. Whenever the voucher comes through. We'll let you know the update with the take so you can don't. As you never know with them, not. Exactly. Okay, so it is three days later now. Um, they still haven't done it, so I'm gonna have to pop up in a bit once I've been to the uh, tip to take some rubbish out. As you know, we've been sorting out the collection if you're on our Facebook group. Um, so I'm gonna go and see 
if they've done it, um, and they said roughly one, maximum two days, and it is like half eleven, and it's still not been done. It's not like they'd load that four consoles test a retro console, a PS3, no Xbox with your PS3, a Switch. There was another console. No, I think that was it. No, that was it, and, and two controllers because the others was wired controllers, so they, so they didn't have to test them. And then go up after a bit to tip, see if it's done. I'm going to give them to 2 o'clock today before I go up, because this is just taking the piss, as I would say. Just a quick sneaky peek. If you look behind me, we have officially, if you're on our Facebook group, finished sorting the bedroom out. It's the game section of the room. We don't call it the games room, because it is actually a bedroom, like some people. And we've actually sorted all this out. Lisa is currently watching Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, so good. I'll let you know whenever, if they haven't done it, then I don't fucking know. Okay, so, I just got off the phone to CX, and the PS3 has actually got open for us. We got 53 for that. The Switch, that's a load of bullshit because they've done it as discounted because apparently the grips were missing. What fucking grips, to be fair. So, that really should have been unboxed. Uh, we've got £2 for the GameCube pads. The 1P memory card, that's a bit of a piss tape because they've done it as 64 megs. It was not 64 megs at all. It was like 2 gigabytes or 4, something like that. Definitely wasn't 64 megabytes, so we got ripped off with that. Uh, £4 for the uh, 360 wireless pad. No, the network adapter, sorry. £30 for the wireless 360 controller. £40 for the console, the Xbox console. So overall, we got... Two hundred and thirty-two pounds and thirty-two p. So we got ripped off with the memory cards, and I'm a, I'm a little bit pissed about the switch because that really should have been unboxed. But you know what can you do? Okay, so I just got back from the tip. It's at the same day. Lisa had a phone call. I think she's already said on the video. Did you, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I will say, as I was trading in the switch, Lisa wasn't for you. The switch when they said they haven't got the grips, for Lisa told me just so my hands hurting. Whenever I got the grips, they actually technically did. We took the, the controller thing, you know, you put the joy cons in and the two black uh, grip things you put on when you take the controllers off to play the, the joy cons separately. And he said, oh, we don't take them. And so he gave them us back, which I thought was a bit strange. But for the CX workers, they should know what they're doing, but obviously they don't. You got anything to say, Lisa, additional? No, I just think that most of them ain't got a clue and... They'll do anything just to make the extra pay. Yeah, I've just checked the receipt. So the memory card, obviously, it says 64 megabytes. It's not. It's 256 megs. So I've written it down on my notes. And the price is still the same. It hasn't changed. So they've obviously fucked the price. So, but I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to go back because it's going to cost more in petrol to get back to CEX. So I just focus myself. Next time, I think we're going to trade it individually. And make sure they give us the voucher. Make sure they give us the voucher there, and I'm gonna to say to people, I'll trade them in individually because if it's a piss take, I could have sold the switch for more money on marketplace, but that's a risky take with trading CX, I will say. So I wanna say hope you enjoyed today's video. I will say we have I did get a pickup today. Hold on, Lisa's behind me. I got a chair for the retro gaming section. Lisa did pick up three things from let me just grab them on my camera. So, my dad bought the John Wick 1 to 3 4K Steelbook box set, and he was selling. He said we could have had them, but we said we'd buy them off him. And, he's, and I said to him, give us a price. He said £10. We bought John Wick 1 and 2 on 4K. We have watched the first John Wick. Yes, we did trade in one John Wick before because we was going to buy the box set, but, but the price we paid £10 for the third one as well. We couldn't complain, so we need to pick up number four. You wouldn't upgrade it again, would you, to the four, one to four? No, because no. it's such a cheap price. It's the same thickness anyway, isn't it? No, it's like the one to four is like just a single box like that, but that okay. doesn't really bother me. So, I want to say, hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. To get all the latest updates, I also want to say uh, we have got some gameplays going live on the channel. And I did do one Evan, which no one actually cares about, but I'm going to say it anyway. I know that did my provisional, so sad that to cut my provisional because it's renewing. I got my new picture, I don't look like such a dork. I couldn't see. When I say you take glass off, I couldn't see fucking shit for my life. And I was taking the picture, Lisa wasn't with me. So if you do have a provision, I recommend going to the post office. It's actually four quid. It's quicker than doing it online yourself. So, as I said, hit the like button, don't forget hit the notification bell, join us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down below in the description. Scan any QR codes um, on the video. So stay safe and keep hunting.
Size iyi lunch. Oh, my God.